What's going on, everybody? Brett Lee here. Today we are in Denver at my studio with the amazing... Emerald. And today we're going to be shooting... Some, what are we shooting today? Flexibility stuff. Flexibility stuff. We're going to do some like artsy stuff with flexibility. And she has shot only one time before. Yep. How long ago was that? About two or three years ago. So we're going to consider her a photo shoot virgin. Yeah. Basically, so 100%, say? yeah. So this is not about talking bad about another photographer. This is simply about showcasing the different experiences that you have with different creators. Was there a lot of freedom to move on your part or was there a lot of like structure? A lot of freedom. There was not much uh, structure or guidance at all. He just said, go, do you. So that's definitely one way to shoot. We're not trying to say that there's only one way to do things. I just want to show another way in case you're a newer photographer that doesn't really know how to find your voice yet. So first step, I had her stretch, and so she's been stretching for about 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So let's see what she can do, and then we'll see if we can pinpoint some uh, particular poses that we'll capture later. Ready? Yep. All right, let's see. Let's do it. Go back to that one position there that you just had. Bring that back elbow, point it straight up to the sky, your right elbow, like that, perfect. Can you grab both feet in balance? So both elbows pointed up. Both elbows? <laughs> try to vacuum as much as you can. I want to try to exaggerate. Yeah, yeah. Like that. That, perfect. So what I'm looking for here is if you notice her core when she's breathing, it goes in and out. So this is going to be really key to have the timing just perfect. I love that pose. You lean with the chin. Put okay. your chin forward, like that, yeah. Okay. So if you're turning your face, almost like you're trying to look at that back door. That, that, yeah. As much tilt as possible, what that's gonna do, that. I can still see the side of your face, but it changes the shape of your face, so it makes it less identifiable. And then you become a jawline and a cheekbone. Love it. As opposed to, hey, are you? I know, hey, is that? I mean, uh -huh, makes sense. Uh-huh, yeah. Better, yeah. Like that. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. We've got a 36 octo connected to the 8600 above. I've got the grid on that. I've got two of the 200s without uh, any modifiers on it, and I have two 300s down below. Half power on the overhead light. Half power on the two 300s, and then on the two 200s, I've got that set to one over 64. Let's take a quick test shot. Let's see how it looks. All right, let's have you turn this way. And let's go with that one pose overhead. Good. Hold it one more. Hang tight. On your head, right now it's all the way back. Try to bring it forward a tiny bit. Uh, the chin forward a touch and then rotate. Yeah. Ready. Oh, I like that. All right, let's try it one more time. Ready? Oh, I got you, huh? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that chin placement was perfect. Uh, that one where you pulled your leg back and you held it with both hands, mm -hmm. and then trying to go up to the toe. Again? Let's say you look straight up. Straight up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not laughing at her, I'm just laughing at her. Well, let's do another standing shot. Can you do that up on the toe as well? I know. Again. Hold it. For that, I need to make sure that you are underneath the overhead light and then slightly one step away from me. Relax. I like it. I don't love it. Good, right there. Hold. Because she's now half the size, to keep the same lighting as we as we had with her up, just drop the light down. Toes to toe. Good. Right there. Flatten your feet. Good. Extend the feet out. Go back to the way that you had, feet to feet, but then extend the feet halfway, so that where your heels are touching, toes touching, heels touching. 
Good, extend up a tiny bit. A little bit more, a little more, right there. Hold it, arch lower back. Good. Right there, relax. Good. Hold it, hold. This is one, these are one that you can tell me if my legs need to go. Good. Bend both knees as much as you can. Good, keep that back leg where it is. Try to take your front foot there. Now take that foot and try to connect it with your back knee. Right there, more, right there. Good. Now take your back foot and try to, there, there, there. Good. Move that front knee away from me a little bit more. There, there, there. Good. Relax. All right, what else can you do? Give me one more thing. The bridge, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring the hip back down. Good, try to go as low as you can when that hip's all the way down. In fact, go to your elbows. More. I know this isn't easy. There, there. Good, let's do the same thing, then kick one leg up that back leg. Point straight up, good. And then bend the top leg. There, there, there. Good, right there. Relax. So I showed you two light setups, one for standing shots and one for a little bit lower to the ground. I'm gonna show you one more light setup that you can easily do uh, without all the lights. We have five lights, one, two, three, four. We have five lights moving right now. I'm gonna take most of the lights away. We're gonna do a RT shoot with just one light. Let me show you what we do. I'm just gonna change the position. I see you. <laughs> Again, one more. Let's, can you do something where you're going up, but then you're kind of like falling? Like if you're facing me. Show me again. If you're falling, ideally your upper body would be falling this way. Or if you fall this way, then your face would be looking back this way. So if you're falling this way, like that, yeah, yeah, just reverse. And then your face will be looking back, yeah, just like that. Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh, I found it. Okay, ready. Same thing, just at the last second, head, because right now your head's still facing this way. Okay. You need your head to, yeah. Ready. Ooh, that better. Again. When your leg goes up, head. Ooh, better. If you're doing something athletic, like what she does, timing is everything. And so instead of just shooting, 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 and hoping that you get something, when you take a test shot, make sure that the lighting is set up in the specific place to make sure you maximize all the aesthetics. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, please consider subscribing. Click on that notification bell so you get updates every time we post new content, which is once or twice every single week. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment area. Give her a follow on social media. We'll list her link on the bottom. She is quite dope. As much as I talk smack about her, her lack of coordination, she's actually pretty badass. Um, surprisingly, this was her second photo shoot. And so a trick, if you have someone that can do things, whenever you allow them to do what they know best, I'm sure she's done way much more fitness type stuff than she has spent in front of a camera. Cause you spend about two hours in front of a camera, maybe three. Mm -hmm. yeah. So her entire uh, modeling career can be summarized in two to three hours. How many hours have you spent doing this stuff? Thousands. Thousands. So if you're doing an action shoot or something like this, you know, get them into the mindset of focusing, focusing on their skills. That way they don't even think about doing a photo shoot. Hopefully that makes sense. Does that make sense? If you learned something, let me know. If not, leave a thumbs down on her page. <laughs> See you next time.